everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. I am Silly Monkey and today I will be showing you how to make working security cameras in Minecraft. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video. And while you're at it, smash that like button with your security camera and if you don't have one with you or none at all, smash it with your finger. So let's get right on to the video. So here are the security cameras. So I have three th these three buttons for these three security cameras. Now they are buttons, but those actually serve a purpose too. You're gonna click on them to get back. So say I wanna go to this, say I wanna check out this room. I can do that easily. Then I just click on the security camera and I turn back. And then say I wanna, I wanna check out over there where the redstone is. I come here, and I can check out everything over here. Now, of course, you can have different rooms. You're not going to check out the same room from three different cameras. That's just going to be weird. So, yeah. And then I have this camera right here. Very, very nice. So, now that I've shown you this, let's go and make it. So, this is what you're going to need for your security cameras. Ooh, wrong button. You are going to need one barrier block, five command blocks, but of course that doesn't really matter because you can only get them in creative. So technically you only need one. And a stone or any kind of wood button you need. What you're gonna do is come to where you want to place the camera, so I want it right here. Place down your barrier block right here. If you don't know what a barrier block is, you can see it, but when you have it out of your hand, is completely invisible. So when you're in the security camera, it looks like you're floating even though you're not. And I'm not flying right now, so it looks like I'm floating. It's cool. Now what you're gonna do is place your button right here and right here. So you have two buttons. So this would be your security camera and this would be the one you're going. So now you wanna place a command block here, here, or here, and you can do that the same way around, but the arrows have to be facing each other. So you can do it this way, or this way, but if you want to have mo multiple ones, I suggest having it this way. Now you're gonna come to where your button is, right there, above it, and you're gonna wanna place two command blocks, like that. We'll come to these later. What you wanna do is come to your, your, um, your barrier blocks stand on it, and you're gonna need your coordinates um, showing. So the way you do that is go to settings. Okay. You're gonna go to world options, and you're gonna turn on show coordinates if not on already. Then on your cor on the corner of your screen, you should see your coordinates. Now my coordinates for this barrier block right here is minus 220. 550. Now, well, minus 50. Now, you want to write these down. Not mine. You want to write down yours. And I already have them written down. So now what you want to do is come to your first command block. And you want to type in slash TP. Oh, that's nice. Well, TP. At P, that'll be your closest player. And you're going to want it to write in your coordinates. So, mine is minus 220, zero, 5, minus 50. Okay, once you got that, you don't need to change anything else. You're done with this command block. So what you should see is, when you click this button, you get teleported right here. Now, it says that you've been teleported, that's just because I'm the owner of this world, it just tells me that. But I have command block, um, if it doesn't say that, but says like a bunch like, teleported so and so, and then gives you, and then given that, what you need to do is go slash game rule space command block out 
put. Ooh, and that needs to be one thing. And you want to put false. So that means nothing from the command blocks will show on your screen. Except if you are the owner of the world, like I am. Then you'll show you are teleported. But if it's somewhere else, like a member or a visitor from like a friend, then it won't get that. Now, what you're gonna do is come to this command block. You're gonna click on it. And before you type in any commands, you wanna change it to chain and always active. And you wanna come here and do slash effect at P. You wanna do invisibility. Make sure I spelled that correctly. I N V I S I B L I L L I T Y. You wanna do 88. 88 true if you don't have true then you'll see all the particles everywhere and that's not gonna look that good so it should look like this now come to your next command block right here change this to chain and always active and come to this and go slash effect at p instead of invisibility you're gonna do slowness 88 instead of 88 88 you want to do 8899 true okay once you got that you're done with this section now if you want more you just kind of repeat that over and over again you can stack them put them next to each other like I had over there now what you want to do is find your coordinates right in front of your button like right around here like to this but block or to this block. I suggest this block because most likely you'll press it from this block. You wouldn't really press it from this block or this block or this block. Um, you'd press it from this block, not really close up like that. But so then you want to find your coordinates. Mine is minus two one eight four minus forty nine. Now, once you got your coordinates written down, you want to come to your top command blocks. You want to come to this one and go slash TP at P and you want to write in your coordinates. So mine is minus 218 4 minus 49. Now mine is going to be different from yours. Don't type in this. Type in your coordinates that you have. So now that's done, you want to come up to here, here. You want to go slash effect at P. And you want to do clear. So nothing else, just clear. And that, and then you want to change it to chain and always active. Now that will complete this redstone thing. So you press this button and you come into camera mode. See? So I can't walk anywhere or anything. So yeah, slowness and invisibility. So if I click this button right here, and I get sent back here, then I can keep on doing it as long as I want. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and make some great stuff with this tutorial. It is very simple and very easy to use. You can place the security camera anywhere and you can place the button anywhere. I suggest in different rooms, not in the same room. But sadly, that's all the time we have left in this video. And I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on security cameras. I'm Silly Monkey. Goodbye.